DigiGrid Advanced Audio Hardware Units can be used in a multitude of different configurations, whether it's improving your current workflow or giving you some inspiration on how to create brand new ones. Here are just a few of them. HT Native is a powerful platform, but it doesn't come with DSP processing. Adding a DigiGrid DLS gives you DSP processing for Wave SoundGrid plugins and some third-party SoundGrid plugins, giving you the freedom to mix the way you want and freeing up your native processing in your system for more tasks in the mix. Having the ability to record from IOs based elsewhere in the building is now as easy as selecting the IO and hitting record. With DigiGrid Advanced Audio Hardware Units, not only can you network your IOs from one room to another, but if you're not using the DSP in one room, you can send it and allocate it to another so it can be used where it's needed most. That's flexibility. With studio gear being updated so much in the last few years, a lot of studios out there and home users have Blueface IOs or other third-party DigiLink enabled IOs on the shelf gathering dust. Well, we're here to tell you we can help you give them a new lease of life. Connect an IO up to your DigiGrid DLS or DLI with a DigiLink cable, and then run a CAT5e or CAT6 cable from the first port on the back of the DLS or DLI into your computer. You now have a working system using your Pro Tools I.O. and no Pro Tools card. The DigiGrid DLS and DLI advanced audio interfaces can improve your workflow and add functionality to your studio. I've just mentioned a few of the great ways that you can use them. The question is, how are you going to use them?